this wire. Neutral switch, transmission, indicator, wiring. Can't find it anywhere. Anywhere, bro. Anywhere. So I'm gonna have to just repair them wires and do the best I can. Um, fixing that, cause can't find it. Think I may be losing my mind. Oh, I already lost it. Already lost it. Damn, I may be losing my mind. Now don't tell me that I lost it. That I lost it. All right. Big trouble in little China. <laughs> the saga continues with this China bike. Brakes don't fit. Those bolt holes right there are just barely too small. I'm trying to re I well I'm trying to rebuild it kind of. I took the old bracket off of the old calipers and it fits on there. I'm gonna see. Well I'm waiting for the eBay seller to see if he'll allow me to send it all back. Cause the rotors they don't fit any either so i'm guessing there might be some with the back brakes that don't fit too so but waiting for him it's a holiday weekend so he may not reply back i don't know um but that's that so if he doesn't let me return it i'm prepared to at least try to fit this new calipers take this bracket part off and just Attach that and luckily it doesn't you know, it's just a bracket so it don't it won't affect bleeding So I won't have to bleed it or anything it won't get any air in the lines so Hopefully he gets back to me ASAP he or she or them whatever But I just need folks to let me know feel Come back over here to this case just uh my camera was acting up, so I didn't get it on camera, but got the uh, epoxy mixed and on uh, my stator cover case. I barely want to move it, but as you can see, it's over there. And then the inside, it's a little smoother on the inside. Outside, I wasn't really super careful. Kind of gummed it up on the outside with the inside, tried it to be as smooth as possible. But it says it cures four to six hours. Uh, I'm not in no rush, so I mean, <laughs> I ain't got no breaks or nothing anyway, so. It's, and it's like 8 p.m., so I'm about to just let it sit overnight, I guess. But hopefully the eBay seller lets me return these brakes and I can order some. New ones off the zone or something that'll fit. Do some digging on the internet. But it's it's not the easiest finding parts for these China bikes. Not measure. I thought I measured good when before I ordered it to make sure the holes fitting right and everything, but it's really hard getting stuff for these China bikes. But like I said, big trouble with little China. <laughs> but I ain't giving up. This thing will either run or it's gonna run, yeah. So, stay tuned. New day. Big trouble. Little China. Piece of shit China bite. <laughs> Boy, I don't ever recommend one of these, man. For the simple fact that, yes, people say they run good, but when they don't, and you need to replace something. Good luck, Chuck. Finding the damn parts. Like this wire. Neutral switch, transmission, indicator, wiring. Can't find it anywhere. Anywhere, bro. Anywhere. So I'm gonna have to just repair them wires and do the best I can um, fixing that because can't find it but 
Um, let's see, let's see. That JB Well with that crack is sat overnight. It's covered up now. But before I continue and put it back together and get this uh, RTV gasket maker on there, I'm a, I need to get this done. Still haven't heard back from the seller about the brakes. I don't expect to hear back from them this weekend. Because regular people take days off and weeks and shit, man. Extremist. High performance people like me, we don't take days off, man. I don't know what a weekend is. I don't be knowing what holidays is. I don't even look at the calendar unless I'm planning and going along plans, but whatever. It's Labor Day weekend, whatever that's supposed to mean. And motherfuckers is out wasting time instead of getting stuff done. But anyway, let's get this done. Get this thing back together so I can sell it. <laughs> I don't even, I don't know I'm gonna take a loss. I ordered a new tire for it. I paid $13.50 for it, I'm already, you know. The brakes was 100, the back tire was 60. Gasket makers and oil and all the other stuff, another 50 at least. So plus the, the $13.50 paid for it, plus at least another 200 or more. Well, I just said it's over 200. Shoot, around 200 to 250. So, $1,600 bike. <laughs> man, <laughs> I got a Honda, man. For real, I found one too. At the um, Pit Bike, uh, what is it? Pit Bike Connection, Spring, Texas. Shout out to them. They do a real good job at restoring and rebuilding pit bikes. and They look like brand new. They give you warranties and all types of stuff. So you in Texas, check out Pit Bike Connection because that's where I'm about to go get my bike once I sell this one. And I'm selling my big flyer, my SC bike. And this piece of shit, get it real. I don't even, I'm, like I said, I'm 1600 in. I'm gonna just put it up for like 1300 and you know, let them know everything that's wrong with it, be honest. Unlike the guy who was, wasn't honest with me, get it all cleaned up, clean it up super good, and get it sold so I can get riding, man. But anyway, get this thing back together. Legal.
Got that repaired. <clears throat> well, ain't pretty, but it'll work. No more exposed broken wires. Now, put it back together. Put this RTV gasket on. We gonna get ready to send it. Legal. <laughs>